Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to another Monster High doll review. Yes, another. I am sorry, I feel like I'm being very repetitive on my channel lately with the number of Monster High reviews and unboxings, but they've just been releasing so many good dolls lately. I promise it will stop eventually. I do have three other dolls <laughs> that I've already purchased that are waiting to be unboxed. Um, so like, it's not quite over yet, but I'm trying to add a little bit of variety here and there so as to not bore you guys. I just, I can't help that they keep making really cool dolls, okay? So for today, we have Claudine from the Monster Ball line to take a look at. She is the last doll that I'm planning on getting from the Monster Ball line. I did reviews already for Cleo and then Laguna. And I really thought that I was going to want Draculaura because I do think her dress is really cute with like the huge bow and back. But the more that I look at her and like I've seen other people's reviews on her, I just feel like she has a little bit less detail than the other dolls in this line and she just seems less exciting to me. So shocker, because like I really thought that I was going to love her, but Claudine is going to be the last Monster Ball review to do. So like that's at least a line for Monster High <laughs> that we can be putting to a close after today. But she obviously is looking super fun and unique. She's got her tuxedo going on, so a little different than the dresses that the other dolls are wearing. On the back here, you can see the art from Claudine. And then also the other ghouls kind of in the background. So yeah, that is going to be her inbox. As always, I'm going to have to unbox her because like I got to get my hands on her and really be able to discuss her. <laughs> so as we get through, if you guys do find yourself enjoying the video, if you can give it a like, super helpful to me. And then if you're new here and you like your time, definitely subscribe so you can see more. Obviously a lot of Monster High content for you, but I promise there's other stuff as well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and unbox her off camera really quick and then we will come back to like discuss her and everything she comes with and all the details and just have a lovely time. So I will be right back with you guys. Okay, we've got Claudine unboxed. She is in her timeout corner for now, so we can focus on her accessories. So first of all, she came with a little poster like all the Monster Ball dolls do. They are all different, so like it's kind of fun if you get them all. It's like kind of reminiscent of a trading card to me where like you can collect each one. So that's pretty cute. And then she does have these balloons. They are really precious. The Skullette one looks so good. I mean, like these two do as well, but that's really cute. I feel like they're heavy though for her hand. I don't want to spoil the doll, but we're going to find out really quick. Hold on. Okay. So I've put them on her hand. Her hand is already falling out. I have put them on her hand. I'm holding it together just to see what happens here. Yeah. That that's about what I thought would happen. <laughs> so like stay. They are really cute. I think that they're probably good for like photos so that you can kind of finagle it properly, but they're definitely too heavy to easily display in her hands. Like, they just don't quite stay up. Obviously, it's very hard to do that. Like, real balloons have helium in them, which is keeping them afloat. So, like, on a doll scale, I understand that it's probably very difficult to do something like this that isn't too heavy. But just so you know, if you wanted to display her with these, like, in her hand, it's going to be a little bit tricky because they are quite heavy. Uh, then she came with this little moon bag. Very, very cute. It's like quite simple, but I just think that it looks really nice and it does open on up. Then she also came with a makeup compact that also opens up. So it's just a little skelet. And then on the inside, we have a mirror and then like some powder or something down there as well. Then we've got the one donut on a little plate and then the donut display. And this is so, so cute. Like, it was fine. I thought it was okay in the box, but then I opened it up and I realized that the like brown icing on the donuts, it's kind of hard to tell with like my lighting, sorry. But the brown icing on the donuts is moon phases. So like it gets like bigger up to the full moon and then it goes down. And I just thought that was really, really adorable. It's just such a small detail. And I think it's really, really cool that they included it. So the donut stand is precious. And then that brings us on to the doll herself. I gotta be honest, like, she's pretty. I do really like her. I think I'm just feeling less enthused than I thought I would. Like, I thought I was gonna be a 10, and I'm sitting at, like, an 8.5. So I'm still really excited. <laughs> it's just, like, interesting, because I feel like I'm slightly less enthused. To be fair, it might get better um, once I fix up her hair, because she's, she's got some pretty severe box care <laughs> going on here. But, okay, her face super super pretty i think what's throwing me off about the face is the lips i definitely want to repaint her lips because her eye makeup is stunning like the colors are so beautiful 
she just looks so pretty. The lips are like the same color almost as Laguna's. And I really, really love it on Laguna's, but I just feel like it doesn't quite look as good on Claudine. I actually really would like to bring out some more of this pale blue. I think that that would be really pretty because she's got a lot of purple going on. And so I think that the lips, I think that's what's throwing me off. It's just like a little bit too much. And I think with a pale blue, she's going to look fantastic. But her face is really pretty. Like, again, it's not that I'm not excited. It's just like, we're slightly lower than I thought I would be. But I'm sure that once I fix her up, we're going to be right where I would like to be. Uh, she does have a super chunky moon earring in this ear and then two little studs in this ear which is very very cute i have to talk about her top knot okay because that's the other thing that's throwing me off this happens a lot with claudine dolls and i don't know if it's just because like her ears get in the way of a more regular top knot placement but it's so far forward <laughs> like it's so far to the front and it just looks a little bit off to me. Like, I feel like it would look better if it were just a smidgen further back. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe other people really love this. And that's fine if you do. Like, it's just a difference of opinion. But I can redo that and I can push it back a smidgen. And then I will be very happy. I'm actually, like, looking at this and looking at my other Claudine doll uh, off camera. And... I'm kind of thinking she would slap with braids, but I don't know if I want to have to go through that again. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but her hair, the most important thing, it's soft. I'm assuming it's not poly. I'm really bad at hair fibers, so like, I don't like to say for sure just because that's not really my area of expertise and I don't want to be spreading misinformation. But I don't think this is poly. If it is, it's easily the softest poly that I've ever felt. Like her hair is extremely tangled from the box like it's not great right now but it's so much softer than any other claudine doll we've gotten and i'm just so excited about that fact the fact that i can actually touch it and like not feel grossed out is so nice so that's very exciting obviously she has the tinsel and she does have a couple of different colors in her hair this time so we've got like a purple and a very vibrant pink in addition to the brown it's gonna be kind of tricky to check her rooting because I can really only get down here. But all the parts that I can see look like she's rooted well. So pretty solid there. Not really, aside from a slight styling issue, not really any complaints about the hair, which is different for Claudine dolls. <laughs> and then moving on down, we've got a little like bow tie. I could not think of the word bow tie for a second there bow tie to kind of complete the tuxedo look. I really do love that she's got a tuxedo on. It's harkening back for sure to the sweet 1600 line from Gen 1 Monster High. And I just think it's really cool that they decided to keep her in a tux. Um, under this jacket here, we'll talk about the shirt first. So we've got this beautiful leopard print. Like it looks strapless, but it does have little clear straps on the shoulders keeping it on. It's so pretty. The fabric is gorgeous. And then the metallic leopard spots look so nice. My only complaint with this is that there's not more. Like, I kind of wish we had gotten more of that gold leopard print because it just looks so pretty. I'm obsessed. It's so beautiful. Uh, then we have her jacket with the puff sleeves, which is really cool. I like the fact that we got the lapel. Is that is that how you say that word? Because me, who grew up with a Southern mom... I don't know if that has anything to do with it or if we just said it weird. I want to say lapel, but that feels wrong. <laughs> I think it's lapel, <laughs> but I like that it's a different color. I just think that that's a nice little detail. Uh, I do have a lot of little, not quite holes always, but little rips in the fabric of the jacket, which is a shame. I was like quite careful unboxing her. Like this one's pretty bad. It's really hard to see on camera because of the shine. But there's like rips all over her jacket. And I I normally am more than happy to own up to the fact that I could have done something wrong. Like I'm not shy to say, yeah, I'm bad at unboxing. And like I definitely could have cut something. I don't think that that was me. Um, I think that that was how the doll was packaged or how she came. And it also is just something that happens more with fabric like this, I feel like it's so easy to notice when it's imperfect. So that's a bit of a shame. I mean, it's not like if you're not inspecting it, you probably wouldn't see, but it is just kind of, you know, less than great. Uh, on the bright side, though, these little moon buttons 
super cute. And then the pants, the high-waisted with the purple leopard print striping down the sides and around the waistband is so cute. I love that they did use like a gold thread here to kind of just bring in some of that color. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I just love it. And then lastly, we have her shoes. I cannot think off the top of my head if these are a reused shoe mold or not. Like, they feel vaguely familiar, but maybe I'm just, like, thinking that and that's not accurate. They're cute, though. Like, I like them a lot. I think I would have preferred more gold. Because, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of purple. And I feel like with some more gold accents, like, if the shoes had been gold instead of black. Or even just if there was more painted detail and, like, all of the studs were gold. Obviously, I can do that if I want a customizer. But, yeah, I think that's my only thing is I, I wish there was more gold. So that is going to be Claudine. Sorry if this was like a little bit more low energy. I think I'm going to love her once I fix her up. I just think that I am going to need to fix her up. So like, it's going to take a little bit more effort. She's going to be a little bit more of a labor of love. But I think that she's pretty darn cool as is. And I think that once I tweak her design a little bit to my personal taste. I'm going to absolutely love this doll. I would be very curious to see what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. I know when we first got stock photos from Monster Ball, everyone was so, so excited for Claudine. So like, am I in the minority here being like, she needs some work or do you guys also feel that? I would just be very curious to hear from you. But yeah, that is gonna be it for today. Kind of a simple one. So I hope you guys were able to enjoy. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.